hey what's going on guys hope you guys are doing well today this is chris from virgo trading let's do a little video this one's going to be a video on tape reading and that might be interesting because there's not a lot of videos on youtube about tape reading and the ones that are on youtube guess what they're very very basic they basically tell you this if the trades are red it means it was a sell order on the bid if the trades are green or in this case blue it means there was a buy order hitting the ask now a lot of these videos do not tell you about the little nuances about how to actually read time and sales. In this video, I'm actually gonna show you a little bit of technique when it comes to reading time and sales. So I'm gonna actually show you what you would like to see on the time and sales that will give you more information about if your trade is working in your favor or not. So in this case, you're looking at a certain trade. Now, this is a type of trade where I would consider it a breakout trade. If you look at this footprint here, you can see that the high volume price would have been around 115. You can see here that I'm bid at 120 and a quarter. So why would I be bidding at 120 and a quarter if the most recent area of fair value is at 115? Well, you would call that a breakout trade. What I'm basically expecting to see here is the market to hold the bid at 120 and go higher. What I want to see on the time and sales is very specific. And I will tell you, it's actually very simple. So what you want to see is sell market orders hitting into the bid and the market cannot go down on those orders, right? I'm bid at a price and I'm expecting the price to hold bid. If it's not holding bid, I'm actually quite happy to scratch the trade for a very small loss. But in this case, this is a type of trade where it's like now or never based on the market condition we're in here. Okay, so you can see we're moving up in this case, trading 122s and 123 offers here. And my bid at 120 and a quarter, I actually didn't think this order would even fill. You hear me speaking in this video and I say, all right, I'm probably not gonna get it from how quickly it's moving, but I actually ended up getting it here. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now watch the tape here trading. Now remember that whenever you see a transaction printing red here, it means these are sell market orders that are meeting with buy limit orders, which means bids at each of these prices here on the left. Okay, now what's important is what the price does after those orders trade. At least I find that important, okay? So you can see there, we saw some good size trade at 121 bids. Now the market moved down, filled my order. We traded a lot of this selling here around 119 and a half to 120 bid. And now look at what the bid ask spread is doing. We're continuing bid at 20. We're rebid 20 here. We're offered at 121 and 122. Now we're bid at 121 here, okay? And if you look very close, you can see the bid ask spread is kind of inching its way higher. 122 bids now. We're trading size on the offer at 22 and we're bid at 21.50 to 21. Okay, there we go. More size trading on the bid. More size trading on the bid can't go lower. 22 offers now. Look at that, 108 on the offer there. That's pretty aggressive buying right there. 22 offers still trading. Now again, there is a time frame to this trade. Okay, so there we saw the offers lift. But look, if we saw, for example, 122 offers just continue to trade nonstop, and then the market start fading lower against my price of 120, and then we're offering 120, that's an example of what you don't wanna see. Maybe I said that a little too fast. So if my price is offered now after we moved higher, then that's a horrible sign for the trade and I will get out actually. But in this case, what I was expecting to happen or what I needed to happen for this trade to work actually happened. And we can watch that one more time if you like. I'll play the trade back to you with the audio of me actually talking when I was taking the trade. This was a trade from March 31st. I think we'll get it. One twenty one bids now. So I'm not expecting to get we'll the, fill. the fill at 20 and a quarter now. 20 and a quarter now, watch 20 bid here. 18 bid now, do we have a bid at 20? Do we have a bid at 20 here? 20 offer, 21 offer now. 21 offer now, 21 off, 21 bid, 21 bid. Yeah, so I'm saying 21 bid because when I see this trade on the bid and the price is doing the same thing it was doing, that's a good sign for the trade. 22 offer, 21 bid here. 22 offer now, 22 offer. 21 bid, back tick, 22 bid here now. You see how the price is just moving slowly up, right? It's an important nuance. 22 offer here now. Twenty four offers lifting, come on. Start trading at twenty four is there? Twenty two bid here, back tick. Right? And look how we retested that price, all of this traded bid, and we're rebid at twenty three here. 
So again, the trade is still good at this point. Again, we're seeing aggressive buy orders 24. And generally speaking, when you see aggressive buy orders like this near the highs, it normally means there's some shorts puking out of their position. 22 bid, now I'll take again, 22, 22 offer, 22 bid. So we're a bit of 22. And 23 offer now. Up ticks again, saw that? 24 no. offer. So we're a bit at a 23, lift again. 26. 25 bid here. 28 now. So this is definitely a sign of traders getting stopped out of short positions and basically that's kind of what it looks like. 26 offers now. So we're a bit at 25 here, 25 and a half. 28 offers trading now. Now, same thing, same pattern. Just continue to watch the bids here. 27 bid. 28 offers, 26 bids. There we go. 28 offers again. See? The market just wants to continue up here. 27 bid. 26 bids. 26 bids now trading here. Yeah, so you can see that's where the size is picking up here. So like if I start seeing 26 offer, then that's not really great for the trade. I'll probably take some off there. In this case, probably take the whole trade off. But in this case, the, the trade actually continued going. We held the bit at 26. And again, all of this has a sort of time window to it. And again, it's very nuanced. It's hard to kind of explain every little detail, but it's the type of thing where the trade, once the trade gets going, it has momentum to it and it has to keep going after a few seconds. If it stops, then the trade's probably over. You gotta get out. 28 offers trading. But in this case, it kept going. 28 offers and we're still kind of creeping our way up. 25 bids here trading, 26 bids now. Big old bids at 26 here trading. 26 bids now. And it held, right? All of that and it held. 28 offers now, again, 28 offer. 28, 50, 29. Here we go, 30 offers trading now. Thirty-one offers trading now here. Thirty. Right, we're bid at thirty now. Thirty-one. And you know, at this point, it's up to 30 you. Thirty bids trading here now. At this point, it's up to you as to how you want to manage the trade. But generally speaking, you know, you I would have been looking to get paid around this thirty-two to thirty-three area. I think I trailed the stop pretty close here. Yeah, but you know, I think I explained the general consensus of what I was trying to explain in the trade. So a lot of videos on YouTube, they tell you about time and sales, but really they don't give you the nitty gritty of what actually is, is helpful information to look at. Now, of course, I wouldn't say you can go through your entire trading session looking for that exactly what I explained to you. I would say it's more of a nuance than anything. So like if you're looking for the market to be on your side, you obviously wanna see aggressive traders trading into your price and your price is still holding in whichever direction. If you're long, you want it to hold bid. If you're short, you want to see the price holding offer. So you know, there's little like nuances like that. So I have rules and criteria in place for how I manage a trade. I don't know, let's say I'm offered at 70, right? And then the market goes down to 65, comes back to test me at 70. And I'm basically betting on, you know, 72 offers to hold at that point, right? 72 offers trade, the market goes back down to 65. Now at that point, if the market comes back again to test 72, I have to scratch it because the probability has now shifted against me in that case. And there's a higher probability that that 72 offer is just gonna lift and explode. So I won't actually let the trade hit my stop if something like that happened, right? So that's just an example of how I would manage a trade. But again, it's very subjective and it depends from trader to trader. These are just some ideas. All right, guys, if you learned something from this video, I wish you all the best and I'll catch you soon. Take care, bye.